All right, you already know what time it is. It's Dynamine's time. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm a, this is the effect for health recovery. I'm, I'm just getting straight into it because that's, that's what you're here for. And then we have Legends Rising, the Crusader, I think that reads. The Crusher, it reads. So I'm assuming you'll be able to earn those in adventures or you'll be able to exchange them in the dual coin exchange shop. And then here we have the a token or a coin of the tree of might so i that's definitely going to be using the exchange up and here's a title i'm not sure what this is going to be for and we have forbidden power turles play every day to upgrade turles so you'll be able to get the old turles the spirit bomb goku from that same movie you'll get multi z power and chrono crystals okay so it's an event that you'll be able to play once a day like the choice battle Legends Rising, the Crusher, this will appear in the top left corner when you're in the home menu of the game. And then Legends Rising, the Crusher. So this is obviously going to be the banner. This is what it's going to look like. And then this is when you go to the summon area, this is what it's gonna look like. So 99 Z power, so that's good. Legends Rising, the Crusher. And if you saw these tweets from Dragon Ball Legends, they did talk about a new, well, they didn't talk about, but in the video, when they had Tarlis's video, they showed this stage so we're getting a new stage and once again forbidden power so this is when you go to the events tab this is what it's going to look like and then here we have android 18 so we're getting your adventure missions for the watermelon and then here we have turles once again super saiyan 4 is so definitely strange super saiyan 4 goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta i don't know what this could be so that's definitely something to be looking at and then here we have once again the watermelon if you complete the adventures for the event i'm assuming you can exchange and then okay yeah so this is most likely gonna have to deal with an event because we're getting a title for it and then for a bit of power collect three collect three of might metals to exchange okay so this okay this is uh, I, that's actually pretty clean that's actually looking pretty clean though so if you get three of might metals you'll be able to exchange them for z power of turles Spirit Bomb Goku, one hundred Spirit Bomb Goku, Multi Z Power, Sparky Multi Z Power, and Chrono Crystal. So that's actually looking pretty good. And then here we have Turles. So this is what he's gonna look like. This is his card art, and his, the art definitely looks good. So you can see, obviously, it's like extremely detailed. So, but when you look at it actually in person, when you're in the app, everything's obviously gonna be looking a lot better because this is obviously gonna be exported and it's not gonna be, you know, true UHD. So this is what it's gonna look like right now. And then here we have the art for Goku from the Metal Cooler movie, The Return of Cooler. So he's looking, the art's looking pretty good. So you can see his fist from when he's doing his blue arts card. And then obviously you can see his Saiyan yellow hair. So that's what that's looking like. And then Renzi's obviously adding more stuff over over this, you know, this period. So this isn't the end of the data mines. I just hopped on and saw it. So yeah, play every day to upgrade Turles. So for the Tree of Might medals, we're going to be able to exchange them for these three things. I'm assuming there is going to be, you know, energy tickets, skip tickets, and other things like that. But these are going to be the main things we're going to want to exchange for. That's why they're right here. Because who wouldn't want to exchange them? I mean, besides the Turles and the one-handed spare on Goku, who wouldn't want to get these medals to exchange them for Sparking Multi-Z Power and Chrono Crystals? If you don't, then, you know, something's wrong with you. And then, I don't, you know, I don't know what this is. This is obviously going to be an event, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's a returning one. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Let's go back here. So, yes, this is, this is the new stage. I'm assuming this is only going to be available in PvP. I don't think there's going to be a Turles event or, like, a Rising Battle. So, that's I'm pretty sure that's only going to be available in PvP. And then, so, yeah, the Tree of Might Metals. So, now we know what that is. And then I'm going to... So you might be able to exchange the Tree of Might medals for this title. I'm not sure. You might just be able to learn it. I mean, earn it by maybe, you know, getting a certain amount of Tree of Might medals or come because oh, you know what? That actually might be Tree of Might missions, where you get medals and then you also if you you know, we've seen missions like that where if you complete X amount of missions and you get this reward. So it might be like that. If you complete X amount of Tree of Might medal missions, then you'll get the title. So that's what it might be looking like. I don't know. So yeah, still not much. This obviously isn't going to be the end. Oh, well, I'm hoping this isn't the end. Because we should be getting uh, a couple more things. But 
yeah, this is definitely looking, you know, good. So I'll play every day to upgrade Turles. I think this is only for the old one, not not the new one that we're getting tonight. So yeah, this update is gonna be the this update with everything that you can see right here is dropping tonight. So depending on your time zone, it's gonna you know obviously drop at a different time. But here in Los Angeles, California, it resets at eleven p.m. So that's when the update drops. So just search up your time zone, search up what time zone you're in, and then find out you know convert. 11 p.m. Los Angeles time to your time and then you'll be able to find out when the updates come out. Alright, so here we are on the website. So we're gonna start with the Elite Soldier N. So this was a uh, April Fool's joke if you didn't know of when Hapa was younger with hair. So here we have the drop item boost. We already went over this in the actual Dynamines. So it looks like you you know all the stages are going to be here. So that's what it's looking like right now. So hopefully nothing's gonna be time gated and it's just gonna be all released already. And we won't have to wait for the stages to come. So it's going to start tonight or tomorrow, depending on where you live. And then it's going to end on in September. September, what? Yeah, June, July, oh wait, August. Oh wait, it's gonna be in August. <laughs> My bad, it's gonna be in August. It's gonna end in August, on August 18th. So that's when it's gonna end. That might be when you get the next Legends Limited character. So it's definitely something to look out for. So it's going to start tonight or tomorrow, depending on your time zone. And then it's going to end August 18th. So, okay. All right. And then obviously these stages, I'm assuming everything's going to be out. We're not going to have to wait like we did last time. So there's that. We have the return of that. And here we have the Forbidden Power Turles. Play every day to upgrade Turles. Forbidden Power Turles. This is going to run up until August 11th. And here we have Battle 1, Battle 2, with 3, 4, 5, 6, Challenge Battle, Challenge Battle 2, Bonus Battles up to number 14. So there's 14 Bonus Battles, 2 Challenge Battles, and 6 Regular Battles. Okay, so I thought it was going to be rarer, where it would be... Oh, wait. um, I believe it is going to be actually quite rare. Well, maybe it might not be as rare. I was thinking, you know, you would only earn, like, like it was going to be similar to the second anniversary medals where you would only get one permission but it looks like you're going to be getting you know 100 and you'll be able to use the i don't think there's boostiness to actually get the more medals so we'll just we'll just see how that's gonna want to work so maybe i don't know it could take a thousand for sparking multi z power i'm assuming there's going to be a limit uh, it might be like the co-op exchange shop where you can only exchange for 300 chrono crystals Hopefully that's not what it's gonna be because that would really suck But you know at the end of the day, it's just a business. They're not gonna want to give stuff away for free That's that's you know, that's the bottom line and then for the chance battle we'll get a hundred chrono crystals and Okay, that's good and Okay, so in total if you do both of these within the time council, we'll get 221 chrono crystals and then, so you'll be able, okay. So seven times six is 42. And then let's see. So you'll be, okay, 20, 20, 20. So hold on, let me do quick maths right here. So you'll be able to get, let's see. Hopefully an ad doesn't pop up, okay. So it's going to be 221 plus 42. And then you'll be able to get, okay, that's going to equal, I mean, oh no, I did that incorrectly. So 221 plus 42, so 263 so far. And then you'll be able to get 20 times, uh, what is it, 14, isn't it? Yes, 14. So it's going to be 280 Chrono Crystals plus, okay, and then 3 times 14 equals 42. So it's going to be 42 plus let's see let's look at the history really quickly 280 plus 221 plus 42 so if you complete all of this event you'll be able to get 585 chrono crystals if you play daily if you complete all the challenge complete conditions if you do all of that you'll gain 585 chrono crystals so that definitely is good that's half of a multi that's a little bit over half of a multi so that's good and then if you did not complete the actual stars for the Napa event, that's going to be even more. So I'm assuming if you actually complete all of these, 
then you'll be actually able to have, you know, a full multi, but it doesn't look like it so far. I think there might be, hopefully there's missions where it gives even more crystals. Maybe, you know, like in Legends Road, where if you reach a certain amount of metals, you gained crystals. So hopefully that's what this is going to be, where if you reach a certain amount of metals or you, you know, just do a bonus battle, you, then you get Chrono Crystals. So hopefully that's going to be the deal. But I think this is pretty much just going to be it. So I'm going to go back to Discord. All right, yeah, so there's not much on Discord. There's nothing else right now. So I believe this is it. I don't think there's anything else. So let's just check back here in the story, see if anything else was added. Let's go to the characters and see if, if they're actually here. They are here, okay. So the characters are actually here. All right, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. So I'm gonna look at these characters in a different video, but that's going to bring this video to a close. Other than that, thank you for watching. And if you do wanna see the video of me discussing the units, then that is what it is. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.